everyone and welcome to another shelling adventure. I am very excited by our first shell finds. First of all, I did spot this one. Oh, yes, it is empty. I've only found one of these before. It's a varicolored fade. I will put it up on the screen. Thank you to my New Zealand friend that helped me to identify that one. And as I was looking over while getting the camera out, what the heck? <laughs> Look at that. Shell find number two is a very old and calcified Arabian cowrie. Oh my goodness. Probably another garden one, but hey, that's a nice way to start the day. My luck continues. Shell find three is, yes, empty. A beautiful little Hebrew cone. Look at that. Wow, this is a great start to the day. Ooh, a bit of an interesting meter right there. Not sure about this one, but I like it. Are you empty? Watch out. Nope, there's a crabby. There you go. I'm sorry, little dude. Ooh, from back here, that looks like a very lovely blue cowrie. Oh, it's got a bit of a hole in it, but it's still a very lovely blue cowrie. Feels pretty nice on top, like it won't go wide in the sun. You know, I could probably like, um, put a little cord through it and turn it into a necklace. It's all ready for me. Ooh, just a pretty little rock snail. Got a very nice point on that one. Gosh, I thought I saw something orange in down there that might not be a rock. It might be a cowrie. Ah, oh, the waves though. Ah, oh, the waves. Do I make a break for it after this one? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. All right, what are you? What are you and are you worth it? Ooh, you are, you are. Uh, oh, it's not a cowrie. All right, backing up. <laughs> it's a triton shell. I think this variety is specifically called a shouldered triton. I will keep an eye on it to make sure that there isn't a crab in there, but whoo, worth it. There is an extremely large operculum in there that I want to check out. Oh, my knee is wet now. Oh boy, let's grab it. Let's have a look at the big operculum. Ooh, wow, that's like the biggest one I've ever found. Super duper cool. My child, is that a Finley down there? Excuse me. Oh, waves are coming. Oh, I can't be quick. Can I? Oh boy, I got it. No. Oh, yes, I got it. <laughs> Finley number 10. Oh, that's a very pretty one. Oh, that might be my favorite one so far, actually. I'm sorry, little snail. I'm just going to... Boop. Bye. Oh yes, I see something. Oh, don't let the water wash it away. <laughs> oh wow, it's a spotted deer cowrie with some kind of weird white growth on it. Cool, I like that one though. Whatever it is, I'm sure it can come off fairly easily. Awesome. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, I'm trying not to swear. What? Please be whole. Oh, look at that, it is whole. Okay, the lip is a little gone, I don't, that's a, uh, I will have to knock that off. I think that's a living plant just there on the end. What, look at this. Oh my God, 100% already the favorite. Oh, okay, so it's whole lip from there to there is gone. What, some kind of ton shop, but the color is fan freaking tastic. Oh my God, that is glorious. Yep, definitely got some kind of plant growing there. I will try to relocate it. Wow. Ooh, don't drop, oh, don't fall. <laughs> Little bean trivia in my shadow. Let's grab him. There we go. I'm having a lot more luck spotting the bean trivias these days. Not a cowrie, a false cowrie. Ooh, what's that? Oh, oh, well, it's another little triton, but its brakes are very, very unusual. Yeah, that's really cool. I definitely like that for some reason. White cowrie teeth, what are you? It's, oh, look at that ring top cowrie. Gosh, how many have I found in the last two weeks? That looks awesome. Oh, yes, definitely like that one. Oh, is that another ring top? Are you alive, sir? No, you're not alive. There we go. 
Oh, it looks a bit older than the one I got before. The, uh, the one from just before was absolutely lovely, but hey, I like that one. Wait, is that another, another empty ring top cowrie? Whoa! Okay, this one is beautiful. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but that ring is so vibrant and gorgeous. Yes, 100% empty. My goodness, poor little ring tops must have gotten beaten around in all the waves lately. Wow, that's a nice, nice one. Oh my goodness, right next to that snake head is an Arabian. Let's check if it's empty. Ooh, let's grab it. Oh, yes. Whew. I don't know why my camera just bugged out just then, but oh my goodness, right from that hole down there, a beautiful Arabian. It feels so super duper nice. That is awesome. All right, now I should probably uh, grab that snake head from next to it. Oh boy, got it. <laughs> oh, that's a very good snake head too. Okay, okay, this one. Whew. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Conus miliaris, I think. The uh, the thousand spot cone. Very happy with that one. I do like these. Another, another, another ring top cowrie, is it? Oh wow, that is a very old ring top cowrie. You can see that purple poking through. Still, that is kind of cool. Oh well, I don't know what this is, but I kind of like it. Just a little old shell, dude. No idea what it is, though. Ooh, that's a rather nice blotched neurite. He's got a pretty cool pattern on top of him. And a few other things I've been picking up along the way, uh, off camera. Pretty blue cowrie. Look at that one. He's got some nice stripes to him. Ooh, it's very windy here. Sorry, everyone. Whoa, look at how big this abalone is. And it's all whole? That is a super cool one, wow. Right in there, a couple of nice blue calories. Ooh, blue calorie number one. Ooh, kind of a sub-adult one. Looks pretty cool, on the bottom anyway. And number two. Oh, it's a juvenile one. Oh, I like that one, it's mostly intact. And a little micro shell for the micro shell fans, if they do exist, I don't know if you do. A little pheasant shell. Or actually, this one's quite large. I don't mind that at all. My, 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 you are a big limpet. There we go. It looks a little bit worn away on the edges, but it still looks kind of nice and colorful. Well, look at that. I'm walking back and I spot this one right on the rack line. Are you kidding? That is a very beautiful grape cowrie. Ooh, I don't mind that one at all. Still walking back after finishing my outro, and a clandestine pops up right after that grape. So there we go. Awesome. <laughs> I should have checked here before doing my outro. Wow. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more. But for now, let's talk about a favorite. And I think it's pretty obvious uh, what my favorite is. I also want to hear about your favorites in the comments. I really love this tun shell. I was told it's a pheasant tun, probably. Missing a big bit in the lip, but that doesn't bother me. Um, it does have some kind of sea anemone on it, and I've been told that that can't come off. Um, so I'm not really, I've got to make a moral decision, I tell ya. <laughs> um, but anyway, moving on. I do like this Arabian. I do like the deer. But out of all the calories today, I gotta say, the second favorite today for me is this absolutely beautiful ring top cowrie. It is so, so lovely. Probably 100% absolutely my best one. So there we have it. Those were the shell finds and thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye guys.